everyone, my name is Lauren, if you're new here, and I'm a first year medical student. If you're not new, welcome back. Today is gonna be a super fun, different video. I'm filming a collab with student Dr. Eli, who is a dental student. We did film part one of our collab on his channel. I'll put a card up, go and watch that, um, as well as this video. Today is the 5th of December, and we both have an exam on the 6th, so we're filming like a 24 hours before an exam and like leading up to the exam vlog. So you can just see what the last seconds of preparation and studying look like. Hello everybody, my name is Eli. I'm a first year dental student at Boston University, Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. I'm thrilled to be part of this video on Lauren's channel. Today is Sunday, December 5th, and it's 12, 11 in the afternoon. I have an exam in physiology tomorrow, so I'm right outside of the medical school, which is where the library is for both the medical and dental school here at Boston. And I'm about to go in and put some hours in studying for my exam tomorrow. So I wanted to just talk about that a little bit before I go into the library, because once I go into school, I got to put my mask on and got to be quiet in the library. It's quiet study. Realistically, I want to go home to watch the Ravens versus Steelers game. I'm going to be studying but I want to watch the game on TV. The only thing is, since I'm in Boston, I don't know if they show the game up here. We'll see. Right now, I'm just focused on going into the library and making sure I put some solid hours in studying. So I'll catch back up with you guys when I'm done with that. It is, I think after 12, I'm about to head to the library and be there probably until 10. I tried something different with my hair today. I did a slick back with a middle part, which is different for me, and with little tendrils. So, I'm gonna head out now. It's gonna be rough. My exam is on like bacteria and viruses and fungus and protozoa and all these things. And I have to learn like a good hundred of those pathogens for tomorrow because I honestly feel like I know nothing right now. This is the most in trouble I feel for an exam since starting medical school. So we're gonna see how I pull it off. LOL to the giant empty box of pizza rolls in the background, that's really embarrassing for me. We're gonna see how I pull it off. Wish me luck, here we go. Starting my day with a little healthy scoop of edible cookie dough. This is how I keep my brain nourished. This is how, it's so sad. It's 5.45, I am currently at home studying. Like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to come home so I could watch the Ravens versus Steelers game. So I have it up on my TV on mute and I'm studying on my computer and my iPad right here. So I usually, for physiology, don't use Quizlet or Anki or anything like that to study. I like to review my notes and they give us a lot of practice questions um, so we can understand what are high yield topics for the exam and um, really go over our knowledge. But also for our physiology class, we get to have one note card that we can either type and print on it or you can hand write things on it, both sides. And we're allowed to bring that into our physiology exams. That's the only class that we get a note card for, but it's super helpful. Something that's really high yield, I'll put it on my note card. So I'm not finished building my note card yet, but so far, this is what it looks like. We get to write in seven point font on it, and you're not gonna be able to read that, but just know I got everything on there that I'm gonna need. I still have plenty of space to work with and I also still have more lectures to review, so I'm sure that space is gonna get filled up. But that's the way that I like to study for physiology. I just go through everything as I'm building my note card. I put the important stuff right there because I know I'm gonna need it on the exam. And the stuff that I think is like 
super easy to memorize or it's going to take up too much space and I work on memorizing that as I'm building my note card. And then I like to go through the practice questions without my note card and then see what I get wrong and the stuff that I get wrong I add to my note card. So that's why I like to leave a little bit of space still so I can add some stuff from the practice questions. I'm probably going to be studying for a couple more hours definitely through this game. My exam is at 12 o'clock tomorrow so I'm not worried about going to bed super early. I know I'm going to get a good night's rest. Usually our exams are at 8 a.m. so that's a blessing in disguise. I'm not pressed for time right now but I do want to get up a little early tomorrow so I can get to school, print out my note card, Make sure it's legible and good to go. I'll check back in with you guys later on tonight, like when I'm about to get ready to go to sleep. I started falling asleep and I took a nap and I just cannot stay awake. So I'm gonna get some coffee. Hopefully it'll save me because <laughs> it's not looking good right now, guys. <laughs> it's really not looking good, period. Period. It's not looking good. As you guys saw, lighting here is a little funky. As you guys saw, um, I was writing on the board. I was writing out all the bacteria that we have to know. I'm gonna show you what things are looking like. Maybe I'll throw out a fun fact or two. It's 10 o'clock. There's Kennedy. Hi, Kennedy. Hey. Hello. Hi. I still have to go through viruses, and then I'm gonna quickly go through fungi and protozoa slash parasites. And then I'm going to take a practice exam and call it a night, but that's calling it a night is like not anywhere near the future. Kennedy and I have made a cutoff of midnight. Like if it hits midnight, we're leaving. We'll see. I can't be too tired because I don't want to like fall asleep during the exam. So it's rough out here, man. This is just, it's just rough. It's just rough. Anyways, I'll show you the board. So we have two boards filled up here. These are all bacteria, all that we need to know. Let me think of a cool one on this. My favorite bacteria over here is probably Staph aureus. It's pretty cool. And then over here, we have some other bacteria, plus the green are sexually transmitted diseases, which are also bacteria. And favorite one over here is Bordella pertussis, which is whooping cough, um, because it's just very crazy. The bacteria basically clings onto the cilia in your respiratory tract, and you're coughing so hard that you're vomiting because your body's trying to get the bacteria to like let go of your cilia, and it can't. So it's a very, very dangerous bacteria, but um, I think the mechanism is pretty cool. All right, y'all, so it is 11.45. I am extremely exhausted from studying all day today, and my exam is until 12, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the books down now since it's almost midnight. It's, for me, it's really important to get like a good night's sleep before an exam, especially because our exams, there's a lot of reading. The, the questions are asked in a certain way that if you don't read, and comprehend the question fully then you will probably choose the wrong answer and I learned that really quick with like my very first exam so I make a point to get a good night's sleep before every exam now for me that just means like I try to get seven hours and I'm gonna wake up and study a little bit before my exam tomorrow when my mind is a little more fresh I think that'll do me 
more justice than trying to study anymore tonight while I'm super tired. I'm going to get some rest. I should be good to wake up around like 8 a.m. tomorrow and get some studying in the four hours between 8 a.m. and my exam. So I'll see y'all in the morning. It is after midnight, so we're leaving. I'm gonna keep studying when I get home, guys. I'm still not ready, I'm, I'm still not ready. This is like terrible. This is terrible, and this is an example of what not to do. Don't be like me, honestly, ever. You shouldn't be studying the night before an exam. You should be practicing the night before an exam, and I'm studying. So know the difference and don't do it. And, you know, if you want to succeed in med school, that's the only thing you have to follow is don't do that. Morning, everybody. It is 7.15, Monday, December 6th. I woke up around 6.45 this morning, so I got a pretty decent sleep last night. Took a shower, so refresh, got my coffee, and I'm back to studying before my exam. Probably going to wait a few hours before I eat breakfast, but I was, like, kind of just you know, up laying in bed, not doing anything. So that to me signals that it's time to get up, get some studying in, go take this exam and one down and two more to go before the end of the semester. My class kind of had limited time to study for this exam because we had an exam Thursday on the second in our preclinical general dentistry one class. So we, you know, we got to use every possible minute that we have leading up to the exam to get some studying in so early in the morning 7 22 i wake up early on the weekdays anyway so i'm gonna knock some studying out and get ready to take this exam at 12. good morning it is exam day i'm going into the exam now driving there i did some practice questions this morning and i feel a lot better than how i was feeling last night um we're just gonna see how it goes yeah, that's what I have to say about it. I feel like I've faced worse beasts, like the MCAT and everything. But I just feel like for those exams, I had like better armor, like better weapons, you know? Because so I just felt like more prepared. But yeah, I did pretty well in the practice questions. Okay, I have to go. So we'll just see how it goes. It's like 9.05, eating a breakfast of champions. Vanilla yogurt, blackberries, granola. This is how my note card is coming along. Just about full. I got a little bit of space. I can still put stuff here. I hope that gets me through the exam. <laughs> it's 1020 now and I'm leaving to go to school. Catch the bus. All right. So it's 1045 right now. I just got to school. I printed my note card. So for this exam, they changed it from being able to use two sides of a four by six note card to being able to use one side of a full sheet of paper. So this is how my note card turned out. Very legible. Green for the GI stuff, red for the renal stuff, purple for potassium, but that's part of the renal stuff. I printed it at FedEx because their printers are very nice. The paper is glossy. Your words come out like very nice. So I know that with the small font, I'll still be able to read. I have about an hour and 15 minutes before my exam. We have an actual exam room in the medical school that I'm gonna go over to when it's time to take the exam. But for now, I'm in the lecture hall in the dental school and I'm just gonna do some last minute studying in here. The grind, the grind, the grind. Well, I am back home. 
I have taken my exam. I'm supposed to get the score back probably any second now. They said only a few hours. Uh, but I feel pretty good. It actually didn't go as bad as I thought it would. I'm just hoping to pass. But yeah, yeah. I really was having some negative, like, just, I already felt like defeated before. Well, last night, I felt a little better this morning, but um, yeah, I am hoping the score is okay. We will see. We'll see. Bruh, it's 2.30. I'm out of my exam. And all I got to say is, it's above me. That exam was rough. Like, it was rough. It was the longest exam we've taken this semester. Three hours, 70 questions. I don't really have time to dwell on it or anything because I have a big assignment that's due on Wednesday and I have another exam in a class that I'm actually behind in on Monday the 13th. So as soon as I go home, it's time to grind, study some more. We'll find out what the grades for the exam was like probably tomorrow. I think I passed, I mean, Definitely, definitely think I passed, but the thing about dental school is if you want to specialize, you have to get good grades. Passing is, you know, passing is going to get your degree if you want to be a general dentist, but you don't want to limit yourself when it comes to time to apply to specialties and say, wow, I wish I did better first semester. For me, as someone that's currently interested in orthodontics, one of the most competitive uh, specialties in dentistry, grades matter. Although I'm pretty sure I passed, I don't know how good of a grade I got. So it's <laughs> sometimes it can be really hard to like celebrate your successes in dental school, especially because like I got so much other stuff to do. Like anytime I do go on, these, on an exam, it's like, oh, okay, cool next you know what i'm saying because dental school will humble you real fast like you'll do really good on one exam and then the next one you'll bomb it and then you're like geez like it, it's really like that so i don't really dwell on exams very much after it's over it's over i turned it in there's nothing i can do about it right now i mean i'm not in danger of failing or anything like that but you know i do want to get a good grade so I'm trying to grind it out I'm gonna head home and sadly get back to work i'm gonna close the video out here this was 24 hours before an exam it just happened to be the hardest exam of med school so far or at least the hardest topic and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed watching eli's day as well with a dental school exam if you're not subscribed to him already go subscribe to him check him out i will leave one of his videos is it on this one in whatever side of the screen, but in the top corner, and I'll link his channel down below. And guys, excuse my unmade bed. It's, it was exam season, my apartment is a mess. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.